Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Holy freaking crap! It's just way too hot out here. I don't think I'm gonna be out here too long. Um, Dylan's got a buddy coming over. Maybe gonna go for a ride with. They're gonna go for a ride together. Anyways, what I'm doing today is I had my first issue problem with the zero turn mower. Not uh, sure exactly what's going on yet. A couple of few things I want to check. Actually, I've uh, somehow misplaced it. Fell all loose. <clears throat> I take this off. This uh, one of these screws. I don't know how because they're on tight. So somehow that fell out. You know, and out she goes. They should make them so they hang on to the to the covers. But uh, anyways, our first issue. And I'm gonna try a couple of few basic things here. I'll show you in a sec here what's what's happening. Let's get this one out. I had to actually find a, another screw for this thing. And I'm like, oh man, looking at this one, I'm like, I'm like, oh wow, where am I gonna find one like that? So I went looking at my old screw box. And I'm like, oh, that one looks pretty close. And I had like, I don't know, like 40 to 50 of these things in the box. A little longer than that, I had to cut it. But I'm like, oh, that'll work. So I'll put those in there. That in there for now. We'll leave that in. I guess going to fire it up in a minute here. Um, it's got either something like an air leak happening or something in the carburetor. Or something. It's uh, pumping fuel good. It's getting lots of fuel there. It's pumping like I had this off onto another hose, running it, and it's it's flowing out. Changed the fuel filter, even though the other one I think was fine. I just put a new one on. Still doing it. So what is it doing? Well, let's fire it up and show you here. A surge it's got a weird surge I don't know why it started to do that it just sort of started the other day the other morning when I went to start it to, to use it you got to pull that yellow orange handle up it sets the brake and it sets a little thing to um, um, allow you to to start it uh, like a safety thing I put it down and then you pull your handles in and then we go put it down and it is like well, that's kind of weird Pull it back up, start it again, put it back down. I'm like, what is going on here? About three or four times, and then I finally put it down, and then it was fine. So I don't know if there's an issue maybe with that. Uh, I don't know, something, I don't know. It sounds to me like a fuel issue. Uh, there's a couple of few things I want to check, only because now that I see that I've lost one of these bolts out of here, it vibrated and fell out or whatever. I want to check a couple of things here, but i got to take all this off get down inside of here we're gonna take this cover off um, and I got to take this off I guess too to get this cover off so let's see what we can do here um, I'm actually gonna flip this up here I think too there we go. that'd be more better we can put our screws whatever in there and I'm gonna have to go get my little kit some shed here. So yeah, first little issue. It seemed to run not terrible bad when it was running full throttle, but then I was using it the other day, full throttle running, and it was like mm, boom, boom. Every once in a while, I'm like, oh, what is going on here? Seems to me like it might be something in the carburetor, even though I filter it coming out of my big tank goes into my little one gallon tank and then I dump it in here and then it goes through another filter or somehow maybe something got through I don't know all right so we'll have to get you guys on a tripod we need uh I believe this is funny enough I believe it's all oh that'll work but I better go to quarter inch I believe they're all SAE is kind of weird for something like this nowadays it's usually all this metric stuff 
Yeah, that'll work. Oh, maybe not. That's a little bit too. Uh, hmm. Well, maybe those are. Yeah, that's a bit too big. Let's try this. Nope, we're still going down. Five sixteenths, maybe. There we go. All right, let's get you on a tripod. Look at this other door open. It is really hot in here too. Holy cow! All right, let's get this cover off. Threading into plastic. The fan on this thing is plastic. At least I guess if you break the fan, you can just order the new, the new uh, $300 fan for it or whatever it is and screw it on. I'll show you that in a second. I think it's pretty much, I think it's still a metal flywheel on these things, but they give you this extra protection here, I guess, for potentially getting something of your appendages sucked into the thing. Oh, this would spin. I think this spins with it. Yeah, that spins with it. So, so it would just help slice things off faster. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so if I can't potentially figure this out tonight, I do have a friend, a good friend that's a <clears throat> master technician. He worked at a small engine shop for, oh, 17 years or something like that. He is definitely what I call a master technician. He knows. I was actually texting him a little bit on this, and he's like, oh, well, he's on vacation, of course, right now. I just always bothered him with it, but he's like, oh, well, it could be this, it could be that, it could be this. Oh, quarter inch, there's two little wee tiny bolts in here we got to get out. Little baby bolts. And they, I guess, screw it into the manifold. I'm thinking, I'm going to show you what I'm thinking, anyways, in a minute here of what I think is happening in here. I'm thinking it's something to do. Now, these will be the 3 8 I bet. On the side here. I'm thinking it's something to do with maybe an air leak, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, so these bolts here are sweet. We don't actually have to take them right out. They're a different kind of a system. Oh, that stupid ratchet. Bingo. So these, you just have to basically loosen them. And uh, if you could see, that'd be even better. We basically just have to loosen these bolts out of here. You don't actually take them right out. They just kind of have this little collar thing that they just kind of collar onto there and uh, the way we go. And they just kind of go into the chintzy tin there. Sorry for that terrible camera angle. I didn't. Uh, I realize where you were looking there. Ooh, this is tight. Oh. This stupid ratchet. Oh man, it is hot out here. Ooh. Roasting. Well, that's interesting. This one doesn't seem to want to spin out. I wonder if they stripped that from factory. Huh. Okay, there's a the fuel pump back here. I'm going to move you around this corner here. I think this little fuel pump, I'm going to pop him off too. Now, what size is he? That'll do. Now, I don't know what's going on with this stupid ratchet. It keeps decoupling himself. Know, what's this one bolt here? I don't know what's going on with that. I wonder if they over torqued it when they put it in and stripped it. Now we can't get it out. Well, that's not very good. Okay, so that's good there, and that's good there. 
So these, this should just sort of kind of pull off here now. Yeah, that one is kind of messed up in there. I don't know what's going on there. <clears throat> okay, what do we got in here? <coughs> I remember we had a problem with this and it was not starting cold. It was this little spring here. And we put it here, but it actually is supposed to go here. For some reason, changing the angle on the fan made it work better. Let's see, I'm looking down here. And uh, I don't know if I've got a, a leak out of the valve cover, or if i got a leak coming out of the intake manifold here. If you got a sucking air in there, that would definitely not be helping, but... This carburetor to get this off is a real nuisance. You got to take the actual whole manifold off of here. These bolts take the whole thing off because this is all kind of just sitting back here to get this carburetor off. And then of course all your linkages, right? There's a linkage here and one on here. So I'm not going to go maybe that quite far yet, but I want to just see if I can get in here somehow and see if these just need to tighten up. They do have a Torx bit there, but uh, I don't know if I've got one that small. Well, it just so happens that I think I do in this kit. That'll work. Now, will it work though? If you know what I mean. Trying to get it in here, it might feel pretty tight. I don't know if I can get under to this one. can't get enough torque with these these little things you know but I'm wondering this side's all clean over here I'm wondering if this side here if I've got a, a leak somewhere and it could be sucking air somewhere right interesting so all the linkages look like they're working fine and this doesn't even have a bowl drain on it. This has got to be the silliest carburetor I've ever seen. I'll show you why if I can get you down here. Normally they'll just have like a screw underneath. You undo it, take the bowl off. Nope. Not with this one. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can look up through one of these holes here. What are we looking at there? There's the bowl. They've got bolts here. One on either side. I can't quite see this one but there it is so they got um, uh, screws there to take out but you can't get a tool down in there to get that out there's just no room to get a screwdriver down way back under there so you got to take the whole thing off <laughs> which is kind of a silly silly setup but yeah so what's going on with this screw here there it is down there. I'm not too sure why it's spinning. I don't know if the right fell over there now. It's spinning in there, I think. For some reason, it seems to be. Wow. And that seems like it's in there fairly tight, too. I kind of wonder if someone's over torqued that. Maybe when, whenever. Oh, come on. So I don't know if I can get in there with like a big prying thing and... Oh, I see. The thing's broken in back there. Can you guys see that? There's your problem, Fred. Oh, isn't that silly? Hmm. How on earth do I get down there now? Maybe with a pair of needle nose to hold that? It'll probably just mush it. But I gotta see if I can get that off so we can get this cover off. Well, it's hard to get you in here, but I think I might have got it to turn. Yeah. I think the screw's fine, because for some reason the uh, thing broke off the shroud here. Yeah, the screw's good. There we go. Route is off. Now, what's going on 
on earth was going on here? Let's have a look. I don't know. Maybe I mushed it down enough there now, it might be all right. Weird. Weird. So, <sighs> lots of rust under here already, isn't there? No flywheel. Wow. Lots of rust. Good compression. <clears throat> There's the magnets there. Should be um, yeah, magnetic. Okay. I think everything looks good here. Nothing seems like it's rubbed or broken or melted. <laughs> it's kind of a hot area for that though, but that's like your kill wires here. So if you unplug them, it won't shut off. They look like they're okay. It almost seemed like a grounding issue too, like something's like boom, 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 you know. Um, okay, I'm gonna see if I can get in here. It's probably a 3 8 again, is it? Um, boy, those are tight. I don't wanna pop it off yet. Feel pretty good. I have to get a wrench too. All right, let's see what we can do here. Don't want to over tighten them, but I just want to make sure they're tight. Feels pretty good there. And of course, I put it on the wrong way. Feels pretty good. Yeah, those are tight. Okay. Uh, valve covers could be losing some. Well, they feel good too. Uh, where did I put my socket? Right in front of me. Because this is the side here that it gets the pressure from. It feels all good. Fuel, the fuel pressure, sorry, for pumping the fuel pump. Let's check this one too. Let's move you down. Sorry for all the jigglies. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not ripping at it. Just to make sure nothing's vibrating loose. Cause something's up somewhere. That feels good there. Hmm. He was thinking uh, even a bad coil. Maybe we'll pop out the plugs here too to have a look. Uh, I don't know if I've got the right socket here, do I, for this? I haven't changed plugs yet. Five eighths. aren't probably that bad but you never know I do have another set oh they're actually looking pretty good oh the count does that ever hold it in good so I do have another set of plugs here I'll check this one too Could be something too like that mower we looked at right where it's like wore through or something grounded out on the frame but it seems like that's all right uh, I'll put a new set of plugs in it so I've had engines before that they run the sparks fine sparking outside of the engine when you test it 
but you put it in it won't run. Now this is running, but it's not running good. So I think, I really do think there's something in the carburetor. Uh, that one's not so bad either, but oh, I'm going to whip down and grab that new set of plugs I think I put in there anyways. Look at this, a Champion plug wrapped in a John Deere package. Can you believe that? And it's even the right ones. It's even the right ones. Okay. So I'm going to put these in. I'm not going to gap them. I presume they're all ready to go. Um, let's just double check. I mean, these only have 120 hours on them. Yeah, they look pretty much the same to me. And then we'll fire it up after here and see if it'll run. And if it's still running like crud. And there's got to be something else going on. Now I'm going to try to get this off of here. Oh my goodness. Where's my plug? Oh, there. Okay, that's a good snap. Put this other fella in too. I don't think this is going to make a difference, but honestly, you really probably should be doing these kind of every spring. I'm changing oil. You probably should be putting in a new, new plug. There we go. My goodness, I get the right angle, that's for sure. I didn't check the gap on that one, but I'm sure it's fine. Just a little bit past. I just want to seek that. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's get our shrapnel off and it goes flying. The, this guy should be fine there. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to change a thing. So I think we have an inside the carburetor issue going on here. Okay, let's see what happens. Fire it up. Everything's clear. Should be all right. Didn't make a difference. You can see how that works, so that keeps your choke off. So when it's not sitting there, it fires up boom, until it gets a bit of wind and then it opens your choke. So we changed the positioning of that because it didn't seem to have enough tension to it. And it seemed to work. And everything is where well, we left it there, so I mean that should be fine. It's been running fine, so it's something that's super recent. And this looks like a breather tube here, sucks it in back into the motor. There's another breather tube back behind here you can't quite see. Well, I think we have something going on with the carburation. I don't know. It's not so good, maybe. Hmm. Anyways, I'll leave her for now. Maybe let him look at her because he's like a like a super all all star with these things he knows exactly what's probably wrong with it <laughs> so briggs and stratton master he's a still master technician too for still equipment he still holds the highest test score in canada
So that's pretty cool. Nobody's got 100% on their test and he did. He's actually in there asking questions to the, to the, to the teachers and they're like, oh geez, uh, I don't know, I have to look that up. <laughs> He's like a whiz. So, uh, I'd really like to tear into the carburetor and see if I can figure it out too, you know, but, uh, oh, that's bothering me. <laughs> Uh, I gotta get these linkages off. There's three of them. There's one here going to the governor lever, I believe. And this one's to do with the temperature thing and and the choke thing. And they're all kind of joined, and that goes right through, I guess. So, uh, man, it bothers me. It bothers me because I need to use it too, right? I need to be mowing mowing the weeds, but. Um, I don't know. Strange. Very strange. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it for him. I just get the basically get the cover off for him so he can doesn't have to do that stuff. So that's it for today, I guess. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. If you guys have any thoughts, what do you think is going on here? Let me know. He was even thinking maybe a coil is bad, but I think it would just not run at all. So, I don't know. We should actually, you know what? We should. Hang on a sec here. Let's pull that boot off. Put this plug in there. And then we'll pull this boot off. I was seriously thinking of getting one of the Hondas to put on this, but that's like a that's like a twenty six hundred dollar engine. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I don't think we're doing that. All right, let's uh, just check Spark here. This thing shouldn't run now. Let's see if I can see Spark here. All right, not the Spark there. On. find a home there okay sorry lots of spark there too it's kind of weird spark but it's uh, let's check that again here it's not super nice and blue though I think it's all right there sparks sparking so my thinking is something in the carburetor now he said there's a low speed jet somewhere that you can sort of easily get to I don't see anything on this thing so I'm gonna blow it off with some air maybe get a better idea all right I got her cleaned off I don't see any screw so there should be a screw for the low speed that you could take out, it's not, of course, not an adjustable one, but I don't see anything. I think it's all maybe an internal stuff. But I did find something interesting. When it's running, surging, and I push the choke closed a bit, it smooths out. So that's telling me right there that there's a definitely some kind of fuel issue. So let's fire it up here and show you. I think thinking there's something in that carburetor. What do you guys think? I'm thinking that there's a little piece of something somehow got in there. 
and that's messing us all up. What a job <laughs> to get that all off. So we would have to uh, take this little hose off too, and then there's another breather hose back here. Linkage there, linkage there, linkage here. And uh, that would be fun to get all off because uh, somehow you got to get that off and manipulate that thing around there to get those things, you know, to, to come out. But I'm thinking that there's something to do in that carburetor. There's something going on in there, and I bet you it's just sucked a bit of dirt in. Could even have been through these kind of chintzy filters. They're not probably the greatest. You know, sucks it. I mean, there's not a super great tight fit there, although it kind of pushes a bit when the cover's on, I think. Um, so I'm kind of thinking something's got in that carburetor, so we might have to uh, tear that apart have a look. I could, I could probably do that. See, to get the carburetor off, though, it's bolted. Let's zoom in here a bit. It's bolted from this side, so you got to take the nuts off this side. <laughs> so you got to take this whole manifold off to get this whole manifold off to get that off. So, I mean, really? But, <sighs> fun stuff. So, we might have to do that. I don't know. He's on vacation right now, my buddy there, and uh, I'd just rather not really bother him with it because he's got his own work now, so. But, uh, yeah, so we'll have to do that. See if we can find what's inside of this. Something's not good. And it's got the uh, electronic solenoid valve for the fuel under here, too. So that's kind of neat as well. It's different. You should be able to hear that click when it turns on here. Or not. Usually they have a click to them. Maybe that's malfunctioning. Now it's all warm and hot in there. That wire is coming down through through there. And it grounds out, and that's the white wire going there. I would presume that should click on. We can probably test that when we get it off. Just power it and ground it to a battery. Anyways, there we go. That's as far as I'm going to go with it tonight because this is stupid hot out here. The sweat is just running off of me. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later and let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking a fuel issue here now, but uh, we have to tear that carburetor off maybe see what's going on. Catch is all then. Thanks again for watching and you guys have a good day.